we talk about going green, we're usually talking about ecology and the environment, but in this case, we're talking about really going green in your life, and we've got Brandon Menchaca here from Water Food Solutions to talk about how to grow more, grow your food, help it support your life. That's right. I'm so excited about this topic, I can't even tell you. I have always yearned to grow a really prolific garden. Can you help? Well, thanks for having me. Uh, I can, I can, I certainly can. Um, what we specialize in, it's a little different from a traditional garden. What we specialize in is designing, building, and consulting hydroponic systems. Uh, essentially, these systems use nothing but water and uh, naturally occurring nutrients to grow. Mm -hmm. So no soil, okay. no pesticides. No soil, no pesticides. I've seen these before. I've only seen them in like a factory, though. Yeah. Yeah, as, uh, right now, that's kind of the only place you'll find them. Um, technology is now in such a way that with Internet of Things uh, and PVC being cheaper, we can manufacture these for residents, for smaller organizations. Uh, hotels and restaurants in particular is the vertical that we're really aiming for. Well, it's the green, the green wall is the thing, is that everybody's got a wall on their home somewhere that could actually be turned into a source of food. I think that's the amazing piece, and especially for our viewers, where they have the desire and the energy and the time to actually attend to something that would be helpful to their lives. Absolutely, absolutely. And you mentioned the wall. The beautiful thing about these systems is, well, that they're beautiful. Yeah. Uh, they can go on the wall. They can be created to really work into the ambiance of where they're, they're situated. And in terms of maintenance, uh, yeah, I use the word system a lot and it might give the perception that there's a lot to do with it. Right. It's really a set it and forget it type of situation. Uh, it's a recirculating system that holds a reservoir of water and so it uh, perpetually waters itself and you maybe have to check it once every couple weeks. What does that Very do simple. to our water bills? Well, uh, it uses 90% less water than traditional agriculture. So you're saving a tremendous amount wow. of water. That's amazing. It is. And I know from your vlog and mm -hmm. from the things on your website, you actually are, are showing the entire process. It's not that the, the root is sitting in water. There's actually a component that, that really helps to grow the root without dirt. Yeah, sometimes there is, sometimes there isn't. Um, the system that you may have seen on my vlog, uh, the seed actually sits on what's called a rock wool cube. It's just an organic substrate, and from that, the roots grow through it into the water. So that mm. rock wool cube is merely there to germinate the seed, Got it. and then it sits in the water. It, it's really amazing to watch. That is amazing. And like, besides it being beautiful, can you tell me, for those of us who do not have a green thumb, <laughs> <laughs> um, what, what's the advantage of hydroponics over like a traditional garden? Uh, there's a lot of them really. Uh, from an efficiency standpoint, you're using much less energy to produce the food. Uh, mm -hmm. Right now, food on average travels about 1,500 miles to get to your plate. Mm. Um, so if we look at the carbon footprint that creates, it's tremendous. Mm -hmm. uh, as a matter of fact, it takes 10 kcal of fossil fuel energy to produce 1 kcal of food right now. Wow. And that's a terrible exchange. Um, so from that standpoint, it's better. It uses 90% less water, as I mentioned. Mm -hmm. We can grow these systems vertically, and that's another uh, huge component because we lack space, uh, especially in urban environments. Mm -hmm. And so we can put these on walls. We can build these modularly. We can build them on poles. Wow. Um, the yield itself, we can harvest the produce in half the time because we can control all of the elements in the environment, the nutrient density, the pH level, all of these metrics are very uh, much in our control as opposed to in soil, we're not too sure of the, the nutrient density of the soil or maybe contamination. Um, and then lastly, that contamination factor. Huh. Uh, a lot of the brown fields and urban environments that are available for farming are contaminated. Mm. And so by taking soil out of the equation, we don't have to worry about that. That's amazing. Those are like five really good reasons. I can go on. I mean, if your segment let me, we can do this for a while. Wow. Okay, so what grows the best in this type of uh, situation? Oh, wow. Let's see. At the house, I'm growing kale, chard, red leaf lettuce, uh, black seed lettuce, arugula, basil, cilantro, parsley, chives. Uh, but really, we can grow anything. Wow. Okay, you name it, we can grow it. Vine crops, tomatoes grow really well. I think last year, 
we grew tomatoes and it was like that movie, you know, feed me. These things would not stop. And so wow. we were feeding the entire neighborhood tomatoes. And oh, that's amazing. It, it is. is. Yeah. It's, it's great because it's such an organic way for the conversation oh, to continue. Yeah. It is. It's a great conversation. But what, so what about in my situation, for instance, I have a dark space. Not, not, I don't get enough natural light, so I've never considered actually trying to grow something there, but you say it could work. Absolutely, and that's again another advantage. Uh, we can grow these things indoors, and through the use of LED lights that are also highly efficient, we can make sure we give these plants just the, amount, just the right amount of light to make sure they grow perfectly, properly, and they vegetate at the proper time and flower at the proper time. How um, much does a system like this cost? Ooh, that's a great question. They're so scalable. So the system in my house that has 30 plant sites and takes up a, let's see, a 24 square foot plot would cost about $800. Hmm. Wow. Can you use it over and over again? Absolutely. The system should, I mean, theoretically could outlast us. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> Small maintenance. You'd want to change filters and washers uh -huh. and like any other water-based system. Uh -huh. um, but you would set in a rock cube, set in front, watch it grow. Uh, like an edible chia pet. You can actually watch it, I bet. It's growing that fast. It grows so fast, half the time. That's amazing. The lettuce wow. we grow harvests in the last batch was 28 days. Oh my gosh. And it's supposed to harvest in just over 50. I need to do this. This you is so it. cool. Everyone should do it. I Everyone can't. should do it. When I read about this, this, this began through research I was doing about an urban planning class I had. And through this research, all this information I was reading was so compelling, it totally changed the trajectory of my studies. It it changed my career path. It's, it's totally changed everything. And, and I feel like if I can share this with everyone that they too will see the inefficiencies that exist right now and the possibilities also that exist. Right. And if I can just turn a couple heads and convince a few people, I think we can make a significant change. That's amazing. So how do we do that exactly? How can those people who are watching us now, how do they find you? Well, waterfoodsolutions.com is my website. I encourage you guys all to go there and check it out. Um, I say our site's still germinating. Uh, and I say that because we're constantly adding more and more information. And I want our website to be a place where you can go to learn as much as you need to about this. It's, uh, I think that through consulting, through giving away this information, that's going to be the best way to hit our vision. Do you find most people are familiar at this point with hydroponics or mostly not? Absolutely not. I say hydroponics and people immediately think of the cannabis industry. And um. so that tells me that there is a huge opportunity here to really reframe the conversation around this technology and, and maybe uh, make it more prevalent. Can we just call them edible chia pets from now on? <laughs> I thought that was so great. I'm like, now I know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. oh, there you go. Very They're fun. funner to watch than a cheap. They are great to watch, I tell you. So go to the website. You can look at my Instagram handle as well. It's water, at Water Food Solutions. Okay. Our Facebook page is also Water Food Solutions. Good. You'll see short videos, photos. You'll watch uh, me at my house growing these plants. It's a fun process. My son, you'll meet my 12-year-old son who grows these things with me. It's amazing. Well, we're so happy to be able to help you share the message and so grateful to you for coming in to well, share thanks it for with having us. Me. Thanks, Brandon. Thanks for having me. And we'll be right back. <laughs>